It is extremely difficult cutting timber squirrelly using a circular saw. It is a lot easier using a chop saw if you have one. If you don't have one, it's a good idea to make a guide like this. I have made this up in a couple of minutes using some uni strut. You do not need to use uni strut, you could use angle iron or you could use two offcuts of timber. This guide will hopefully make it a lot easier when you come to cut any timber such as 8x2 joists or decking boards or 4x2 or any kind of timber like that. If you look at this piece of timber which is 8x2 you can see that it is a mile off being square. So square that up on a chop saw, it's extremely easy, you can just put it on and cut it. With a circular saw it's slightly more difficult. That's why I have made this using two offcuts of Unistrut. We have a piece going in that direction, that piece is set at 90 degrees. And then going through there we have a back nut and a bolt all the way through. So it's very simple to make, it only takes a couple of minutes. One thing I'd like to point out is that you can't put a regular socket through the channel on Unistrut. If you can get in from the side you can use a regular socket and you can get that on there with an extension bar and tighten it. But you cannot use a regular socket as it won't go in, although you can buy a special one if needed. Once we've made this and it's set to 90 degrees, all we need to do is put it in the correct position. I've actually drilled an hole through the channel there so we can now put a screw in there and that will hold it. We can now take the circular saw, push it up against that edge and we have got a perfectly straight guide to guide us all the way through the cut. And if we put a square on there now, you can see that that is completely square at 90 degrees. So that's a very quick way of making a guide for a circular saw. You do not need to make one of these out of uni struts. You can use a couple of off cuts of wood. All you need to do is ensure that they are screwed at 90 degrees and then you can make the guide out of wood or you could use a couple of pieces of angle iron.